To say that the announcement of the Swatch Omega Moon Swatch was the debut of the year would be an understatement. In fact, you could argue it was the drop of the last decade. Waitlists and queues for watches are by no means a foreign concept to collectors, but this idea is typically shrouded in mystery to an extent. It's not something you can tangibly understand or, or see. With the Moon Swatch, there is a physical and tangible understanding of just how many people want one of these 11 watches. With massive actual queues amassing worldwide on the 26th of March, lines and crowds forming late into the night, hours before the stores had even opened. And for good reason. This monumental and novel collaboration has opened the doors to a broader spectrum of collectors to own a price accessible take on an iconic Swiss luxury design, bringing more and more people into the collecting community we all hold so dear. The Moon Swatches are definitely rather faithful recreations of the Speedmaster, meticulously mimicking the case to the point that we've even seen people successfully affix actual Speedmaster bracelets to the Moon Swatch. Even details such as the dot over 90 bezel have come into play. But at a more apparent level, the 42 mm Moon Swatch case carries the same wearing dimensions as the Speedmaster and utilizes the same crown design, pusher design, and alpha hand style we associate with the Omega Moon Watch. In the spirit of democratization, as well as the sense of space exploration, the watch is outfitted on a Velcro strap that allows you to tailor fit the watch to your wrist. But of course, swatches put their playful spin and DNA into this collaboration, offering the proprietary bioceramic case material in a wide spectrum of colors for everyone to debate which is their favorite. Now, at such an approachable price of 260 US dollars, there are clear differences to mention as well. The case, 50 meters water resistant on a Speedmaster, is a splash resistant 30 meters for the bioceramic moon swatch. The moon swatch is also quartz powered in favor of being mechanically driven, and this has resulted in a shift for the position of the chronograph registers, the elapsed minutes and hours higher up on the dial. But enough tech talk. Now it's time to have some fun and explore all of the 11 color options on the table for this collection. The mission to the sun is definitely for those who want to brighten their day. Its bright sunbrush gold and white accented colorway is sure to bring joy to whomever is wearing it. The mission to Mercury in deep gray is a bit more somber, but nonetheless incredibly versatile and aesthetic as a result. The mission to Venus exudes powdery pink power and a softened aesthetic with oval subdials. Its color is sure to get noticed across the room and is definitely a peacock flex within this collection. The mission on Earth celebrates our own planet with two colors of the year in recent era, blue and green. And the green is not just your everyday green, it's a mint green that's surely to be refreshing on the wrist. The mission to Mars will surely pique the interest of seasoned collectors, its design and color inspired by the Alaska Project Speedmaster that continues to soar in price on the secondary market. Those who know, will know with this watch. Speaking of taking inspiration from a limited edition Speedmaster design, the mission to Jupiter pairs a desert-like bronze-colored case and dial with an orange Ultraman-inspired seconds hand, again, for those who know. The most overt planetary tribute would have to be the mission to Saturn, a versatile beige with Saturn's rings clear and present on the dial at six o'clock. The mission to Pluto combines the safety of a gray case with a pop of burgundy, both on its bezel and its chronograph registers found on its stone off-white dial. Those looking for a rich blue with depth can avert their gaze towards the mission to Neptune, a deep blue suitable for any wardrobe.
For those who wish to wear a more bold blue, in line with the burgeoning trend of Tiffany blue flavor, the pale blue of the Mission to Uranus is sure to be a winner. Last but certainly not least, the Mission to the Moon is the most faithful reinterpretation of the Omega Speedmaster Moonwatch, mimicking the tone, steps, and depth of the iconic reference. For those who don't have a Speedmaster, but want to seize the opportunity now, then the Mission to the Moon is definitely for you. Look, as you can see, there's a lot to explore within this range. A journey of space exploration in of itself. Let us know in the comments below which color is your favorite. And as for securing one of these highly in-demand pieces, may the odds ever be in your favor in the coming weeks. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to the Time and Tide channel for all the latest watch news and content.